Hello YouTube, um, Supergeek here and today I just wanted to go over um, how to set up a HD capture for games um, on somewhat of a budget. Um, so when I was starting with this I didn't really know where to, to begin and I came up with a few requirements that my system needed to have. Um, so let's go over them one by one. So I wanted a desk based system. Um, multiple reasons for that. Uh, the main one being that I didn't want to mess uh, with computer gear in the living room, um, plugging it and plugging it, uh, storing it somewhere. I wanted a desk based system that was set up once and would work every time after. I wouldn't have to mess with wires and anything else like that from there on. I wanted the sound uh, from my games and my computer to uh, come through headphones. I didn't want to set up the speakers um, and so that everybody in the neighborhood hears that uh, what's happening here um, and to give me somewhat of a better definition when playing games, especially uh, the first person shooters, um, the headphones give you uh, somewhat of an advantage there to give you clearer sound and uh, more of a definition. And that's the reason too for uh, wishing to have the uh, surround sound come from the PlayStation. Um, that's where I play the games, so um, I would like to have the uh, sound be digital and coming as a surround sound from PlayStation 3. Um, I'm okay with just having just the stereo sound from my computer. Um, same thing, I want it to come through the headphones. Um, another requirement would be that the video has to be captured in HD. Um, and I would need a microphone for doing the live commentary on the games. Um, another a requirement would be to share one monitor. I didn't want to have a TV and a monitor and a computer all on the same desk to get it all crowded with uh, screens. So I would um, one of the requirements was to share the monitor between uh, the PlayStation and a computer and just switch between the two of them depending on which one I'm using at the time. Uh, and the last one, which is kind of an, an optional but a good to have, was to avoid using the um, DualShock controller uh, from PlayStation. Um, over the years I got used to it, but um, it's still not as good as the keyboard and mouse um, for PC games. So, and um, I used to play quite a bit of those PC games in a, in a day. Um, so that was my preference. So, um, giving all those requirements, um, this is the system design that I came up with and it's not um, very expensive so pretty much anyone can uh, get away with uh, making this system at home so um, let's just go over this from left to right um, so on the very left hand side there we have a PlayStation 3 um, so uh, as far as the capture device, uh, there are a few choices out there. Um, I am a Mac user, so that kind of limits my choices a little bit um, to the Elgato Capture HD. There is a um, Hopage or Hopage or whatever, however you pronounce that name, uh, capture device as well, but that seems to be limited to PC only. So if you're a PC user, you can go either way, Elgato or the Hopage. Um, both of them provide the ability to be connected to PlayStation 3 uh, through D-Terminal components cable that both of those capture devices provide in their kits. Um, it gives you the ability to capture uh, video in HD. Um, I tried it in 720p or 1080p. Works for both. Uh, the only limitation is that the sound that comes through does come through the uh, uh, the tulip tables, the cables, the um, red and white, and so that's just the stereo. Uh, but for capture, that's totally fine. Uh, YouTube doesn't support anything but stereo anyways, so um, that is totally fine and it works with my requirements. So um, after the um, we got the Elgato connected to the PlayStation 3 through that provided cable. 
the other end of Elgato gets plugged in into um, HDMI and gets plugged in into my monitor. I have a Dell monitor that um, has two inputs. One of them is a DVI digital input and the other one is a display port and it has the ability to switch in between the two pretty easily. Um, so I do have the PlayStation through Elgato um, plugged in into the Dell monitor um, using the DVI input uh, and using the display port I plugged in the output from my MacBook into it so um, that's the video part of it. A nice thing about a Dell monitor is that it does have four built-in USB ports so it has acts as a USB hub. Um, so my keyboard and mouse um, those components are all plugged in through the USB port into the monitor. Uh, the Elgato gets its power through a USB port through the monitor and is connected to the MacBook in that way as well. Uh, so let's see. Um, so we covered all this. Uh, the keyboard and a mouse, these are just for the um, PC, for the computer control. Um, the other big requirement was the digital sound for my headphones from the uh, PlayStation 3. So the only option that I found would work is using the optical output from the PlayStation. Um, I did try to play around with the USB sound from PlayStation 3, but uh, USB adapters will only provide you the ability to use chat and uh, I'm not really interested in chatting in games um, I was only interested in the output, the game sound output which is not possible to do through a USB adapter to um, the headphones from PlayStation 3. Uh, there is a Sony made wireless headset that uses a special USB adapter that is all Sony compatible and you can get sound out of it uh, from PlayStation 3 into those uh, Sony Play, uh, PlayStation specific headphones. However, the problem with that is once you use that USB adapter, all the sound that you get from PlayStation 3 gets routed through that um, head, headphone set and you don't get any sound going to the capture component so you would get uh, sound in your headphones for a game but you wouldn't be able to record it. Um, that's what Elgato um, said on their website so I had no other way to do this other than using the optical output. Um, so this is this TOS optical output link. Um, so for that to work, um, I did some research and looks like Turtle Beach makes a few headsets on their website. Um, the, I was interested in the wired headset because I didn't want to mess with batteries much, recharging them or replacing them. So wired headset was a way to go for me. And a combination of Turtle Beach PX21s and uh, their digital Dolby processor module called DSS 7.1 and they have a newer version of this um, DSS 7.1 which is called DSS 2 I think now. Um, they basically do the same thing. Um, they connect to this op optical output link to get the Dolby uh, sound out of the source, in this case being PlayStation 3, and provide a surround sound in your headphones. The unique thing about Turtle Beach PX21 headphones is that it's basically a two-in-one headphone set. It's a USB headphone or headset and a, a analog headset in one. So I use the digital, the USB portion of that headset, both the headphones and the microphone, to connect it to my computer, the MacBook in this case, to both provide the sound output and to use the microphone as the microphone for live capture, for live commentary, and for doing, you know, these kind of videos. So all sound capture happens through it. 
Um, and the 3.5, uh, the analog input for these headphones is used through this Turtle Beach DSS um, Dolby processor um, to um, get the sound from PlayStation as 7.1 surround sound. And as the last part of this diagram here, I have the Hori TAC-3 controller um, here in the bottom, which is wired connection, USB connection to PlayStation 3. And um, obviously you can replace this uh, controller with any other controller that's out there on the market. Um, there is the Eagle Eye uh, adapter that you can plug into your own mouse and keyboard in um, that costs pretty much the same as the whole Hori Tech 3 that comes with the keyboard and the mouse, um, but on Eagle Eye side, uh, it just you just get the adapter uh, and you have to use your own mouse and a keyboard. I thought I'd give this a try. It does have its limitations, um, but at this point in time, I'm fine with it. Maybe in the future, I will upgrade to something like the Eagle Eye or uh, XIM3, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, but at this point in time, as I said, I'm fine with it. I'm still trying it out and playing with settings, so it works for now. So that basically covers the whole setup. Uh, hopefully this help. Uh, this will help some of you guys to um, make some decisions or to make make up your mind whether you want to do it or not. If this helps, please like the video, subscribe. Thank you again. And here how the actual system looks like all set up and laid out.